we're going along a field that had 70 mile an hour winds. No hail, but it's down in, in the field like that even. Didn't root very good, did it? It's no. laying nothing. See, they're not even. Didn't throw out very good brace roots either. Yeah. Look, let me see the inside of that. Wow. Yeah. Like a tornado went through here, but it was just 70 mile an hour winds. This is in a field that's been planted with a with a John Deere planter with OEM disc blades on it. And this is what we're seeing in that wind and just apparated them, just pulled them right out. And they didn't form very good brace rits. They were starting, but they nubbed off right there. Just didn't rut hardly. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's ears. got e decent ears. Bring that along. Oh yeah. It. See when we got hot weather, it nubbed them back on the ends. Yep. And that's from that poor rut system. Now I'm going to go across the road. where they used STP blades. And you look at the stalks and the ears. These are still pushing out. They've got a good brace rit system on them. Ears are good. They were planted about the same time. Just into roast near good here August 15th. Held to clear out to the end. Oh yeah, nice long ear. Yeah. Talking to Mike Malik here, and he put, you had eight rows of OEM blades four on, four rows right here, yep. and then eight rows of the STP right. prescription tillage disc blades. On the west side of this bottle is what? OEM. OEM blades. And on the east side, and looking at it, you know, looking at these plants, Man, there's some hellish and corn here for dry land for southwest Nebraska, 18 inch rainfall. How thick did you plant it, Mike? 19,000. 19,000, wow. On my left is, is OEM. This is on this side is the STP blades. All right, let's walk in here a little bit. Both, this is the OEM side, and this is the STP, or the prescription tillage. And Mike's digging up a stock here. One time around, pulled him out. All right. We're just right directly across from him. About the same distance apart on stocks. Huh? That went in easy for some reason. That spade just went in. Really? It's harder over there. I gotta mark this one STP. Can you pull her out like, like the other one? No. 
see, and that we were having a hard time last year. I can't get this thing out. You went around one time on that other stock, right across from the other one. Right there is OEM, and this is the STP. We're going to take these back and measure the leaves and stuff and just see what we got. Mike, okay, we've got the OEM. They're both same, basic, same height and everything. That plant's a lot heavier on the left, and the stock size is about the same all the way through. Anyway, ear size. And up about eight inches at the widest. Mm -hmm. Eight inches up from the bottom. About eight inches up. Mm -hmm. Oh, five eighths. Three and five eighths. Yep. Yep. Five eighths. Five eighths. Eighteen. The ear. Eighteen round and thirty nine. Long? Yes. STP was 738 for your average. 738, and what was this OEM one? 702. 702, 738. So you've got uh, 36 more kernels on. Let's get a weight. Yeah, get a weight. Let's See just go. Gonna... There's the STP. OE STP blade 55.55 a pound. And the OEM ear weighed. 0.50. Here's a corn plant that blew over. We harvested it yesterday and I left it in the pickup overnight so it doesn't look real good. But look at the root system just running along the top of the ground. Hardly anything going down into the ground. That's why it blew over. It was like a shallow planted tree that went through a windstorm. It'll blow them over. And peel the ear back on that dude. I want to just see what it looks like. Oh, there's two ears. In there. Wow, didn't pollinate very good, did it? Is that the end ever right there? Yeah, that's wow. The end right there. Man, it's not gonna do very much. Here's this one. Okay. Let's look at the root system on it. And this one also fell over. Yep. And there was hardly any roots going down. It's hollow on the inside. It's almost like your fist. You can just stick your fist in there. And it's going down. <clears throat> There's nothing out of the middle of it to hold that plant up. All the roots were out here to the edge where the brace roots went in. Then they also sloughed off these brace roots because they got, finally got these in the ground. Look at the hollow root system in there. Point to that, would you? Yeah. Hollow, nothing. This was just running along the surface of the ground, and that's why it blew over in that 70 mile an hour wind. We're slushing them up and down in the bucket. Get the dirt off of them. Don't go any more on it. But look at the root system in there. Man, there's all kinds of root. Oh yeah, it's stuck in there. Stuck in there hard. Yeah. This is an OEM, right? Yeah. Here's a here's a plant that is just across the road from Mike Field. Um, that stock blew over. Yes. And anyway, you gotta let that dirt soak you can in. see. Oh yeah. The right one is an OEM, and the left one is an STP blade or prescription tilly. This was right across the road, and um, it crossed the Mike's field, and it had blown over. We just sampled one stock. It had two sets of brace red systems coming down on it. And it was really shallow root system on it. Not much hair rutting getting into the ground. Look at these roots, how they put out above ground and put out the small hair roots on it, where these are all down below the surface of the soil. 594 kernels on this ear. And it was about the same height corn, planted about the same time. It's in the, it's, 
maybe not quite as far along, but it's darn close. We're looking at two stalks taken out of the same field. The prescription tillage blade, uh, this was planted with a Kinsey planter. There was 800 kernels on this, 20 rows around on this here. Uh, and the next row over, basically same stock. There was 18 rows around, 770 kernels. And the stocks weighed after we got them here to the shop and, and peeled all the mud and stuff off of them. The stocks weighed uh, on the prescription tillage blades weighed 4.40 pounds. And the stock on the OEM blades weighed 4.20 pounds. So there's quite a difference on this Kinsey planter. And everything was planted on May 5th. This was a dry land field planted into 85 bushel uh, stripper headed wheat stubble. It's, it's very dry right now. Uh, we had plenty of moisture early in the spring. Mike got it planted early and uh, it's uh, in the dough stage right now on August 16th.